In this video, we're gonna take a look at the game called The Birdcage. I've only reviewed this game uh, uh, on my iPad back then in July 10th, 2018. Uh, I was among the first to review it. Even back then, I knew that this game is going to be a big hit. Uh, I gave it one of the highest ranking, if not the highest ranking that I gave to any game, air game, uh, 9.8 uh, after I reviewed it um, on my blog. Now this game is available for both Android and iOS and in this video I'm going to explain to you why this game is such an amazing augmented reality game among the best uh, on the App Store and Google Play right now. Now, the Birdcage is uh, an augmented reality puzzle game, although you can also play it uh, in standard mode, in non-AR mode as well. Uh, both of them are really fun to play, but of course, it's much more fun, in my opinion, and immersive to play this game in augmented reality. The game tells the story of a hard-walking king who lost his son in a climbing accident. The king has locked away the ocean-colored birds that his son loved so much, and it's up to you to unleash them to their freedom. The Birdcage features uh, 20 levels uh, in total and one epilogue level which can be unlocked once you collect all 60 blue gems that are hidden in each level. There are four packs in total, each corresponds to a different bird, bluebird, uh, goldfinch, uh, cardinal and eagle. Uh, the goal in each level is to find the key, um, obtain it and use it to open the cage and release the bird. The way you do it is solved by brain teasing puzzles. The game has many smart puzzles that require logical thinking and careful observation. Most of the puzzles are mechanical puzzles that require movement of arrangements of parts. So this game is a very comfortable augmented reality game uh, that you can play in either a seated or um, standing positioning. Uh, the good thing about this game, when you start it up, a cage will appear from the ground and you're gonna have an option to adjust the height of the cage to make it comfortable to play whether you are standing or just sitting on a couch or something. So it's actually one of those games that don't require physical effort, you just sit down and observe the puzzle and try to solve them. Here you can see I freed a bird and I just finished one level. Uh, as you can see there are some items you can collect and you're gonna it's like a, a similar to an escape room game in augmented reality where you have those items and you just uh, see them and actually you know it's it's based on a, um, on the, the idea of escape room games this game so although it's not the large scale one uh, the puzzles are bit around this idea so you're gonna have these items that are located on the sidebar and you can just uh, uh, drag them into certain locations uh, in order to uh, solve some of the puzzles The game features original soundtrack and really beautiful sound effects, it's just that uh, yeah, it's all wrapped up into really a perfect augmented reality experience. The game was designed to be very accessible so uh, everyone can play it anywhere, anytime. Uh, again, you don't need to uh, make physical efforts in this game, you just sit down, you relax and it's all built around observation and actually you know there are many games that I liked in augmented reality that are built around this idea. I just like enjoy just standing in place, hearing nice music and trying to figure out things in the environment. So here, instead of just moving in the environment, uh, you just rotate the cage. So the game is actually encapsulated a lot of uh, complexity in a very small uh, level design. But again, the idea is just to rotate the cage and try to observe it from different angles. Then you're gonna find things that you weren't able to find when you viewed it from a different angle. So there are different things that uh, make this game uh, so favorable among uh, players. Uh, especially those who like puzzle games. Uh, this was, it's very challenging, uh, it's very, uh, uh, it looks beautiful in augmented reality. Uh, in terms of usability, you can play it anywhere in time. You can see I can change the height uh, of the level. I can just, if I'm sitting on the ground or I'm just on, uh, sitting on the couch, I can still play this game comfortably. The game also has beautiful uh, music, original music, uh, and you really want to feel that you are freeing this bird out, you know, feel like kind of emotionally attached to it, you know, feel like a responsibility here. Uh, the design, of course, is uh, very minimalistic. Uh, you can see the UI, you know, there's only two buttons and the sidebar, so all of the experience is 
is just passed through the screen without any uh, disturbances and of course there's the, the standard mode so uh, players can play this game uh, in non-AR mode this is also uh, one of the reasons that this game got you know uh, a lot of attention and reach and popularity uh, because uh, everyone can play it even if you don't have uh, an AR compatible device you can still play this game there's also this story that keep you immersed in the game as well um, uh, as you walk towards solving the puzzle you find some story pieces packed in a letter which can be found in each level uh, furthermore there are uh, blue gems scattered in different locations in the cage uh, sometimes hidden so you need uh, six of those uh, to unlock the prologue the, um, level uh, I paid actually to unlock everything because I wanted to deliver this review uh, when I did it back then uh, but again, this is another layer of uh, discovery element that really excites players. Uh, this game reminds me of escape room uh, games, you know, they are very popular, uh, where you um, need to find hints uh, by observing your surroundings in order to free yourself. So it's kind of similar approach to the game design uh, in this game, but instead of freeing yourself, uh, here you're going to free a bird. Uh, still, the element of observation uh, is what makes this game such a fascinating game. And if you enjoy escape room games, uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this game as well. Now, when I first uh, did the first one, uh, I thought the game was, uh, you know, quite challenging. Uh, again, it's not too challenging, so, you know, we won't get stuck here for hours. Uh, but it's not uh, very easy either. So it's like in the right balance to make you enjoy it, uh, the, enjoy the puzzle solving experience without being, uh, you know, overly frustrating. So this is the Birdcage, one of my top favorite augmented reality games of all times since I started playing AR games. Um, and just go and download it, just go and download it and play it. If you love puzzle games, even if you don't love puzzle games, I think you're going to enjoy uh, this game, you're going to find it fascinating. And if you can play it in augmented reality, please do so. Um, and this is it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I give you more cool reviews uh, of really amazing AR games uh, that you'll enjoy playing um, uh, right now for iOS and Android. Until then, guys, see you on the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.